Now I need to display those accounts. Let's say to display an account is an easy thing. Uh, we have a component flexi available for all page, and I'll say aura attribute name equal to accounts type equal to list type equal to list here I'll say component dot set because we need to assign a value so we need to use a method called set component dot set v dot accounts comma your accounts from this variable so now we had information that we are assigning to component dot set account now tell me whether this is a single record or like a more than it have a collection whether this account will have collection. collection in apex if you have a collection how you will write to read a data using for loop and all right use yeah, for just loop. to read the data yeah here in ui if i have a collection how can i read it so here we have iterations here we have iteration we need to do an iteration so that's called aura iteration so if you have any doubt to use our iteration let's not worry it's you can as i mentioned always developer.salesforce.com documents component library component library is a very handy documentation tool that you can get everything iteration now which iterations we are talking about our components our iterations and you have complete documentations how and how many ways that you can use our iterations and we can also have specifications like what is available what is not available example so what we have items where let's go our iterations items equal to you need to pass here collection that collection is nothing but v dot your accounts v dot your accounts where equal to account so don't get confused there is a simple difference called this is accounts this is account so my intention of account means a single record okay any doubts now what i what we'll do account dot you don't want to use v because this is a a iteration variable so i am using directly account dot name and you know there is a tag called br tag why we need a br tag why we need a br tag br means it will go to the next line right deploy to source arc br means it breaks that line the new line starts like you entered it refresh okay oil search you got the details right united oil corporations and all the results the accounts are displaying now isn't it let's say omc The details are updating a uh, or not. So it means that it is displaying account names. Clear? Any questions here? But we have to modify this in a way that it will give a right impression. Let's go to the our iteration specifications and we'll see. 
for now whenever you write any accounts ideally what we'll write one dot first account name two dot so we used to write the sequence if we want that sequence we have a variable called index where we have a variable called index where let's go back to the, our component and let's define our index where also let's define our index where equal to s number this is called serial number it means all i'll do dot space index where deploy this to source arc refresh it oil now it is starting from zero but ideally how we need to start whether you need to start from 0 or 1 which one will be nice starting from 0 or starting from 1 to, to initialize we start with 1 no to initialize we start with 1 right yeah let's see if we have anything index of collection start at inclusive and items loaded ended integer body component are different so here we are not finding anything else here we are finding only this much let's go back and what we can do we can do plus one the arithmetic operations can be possible directly if that is enabled like if it is a number if we want to do any arithmetic operation that is possible clear so if I say plus one, it will do a arithmetic operation. What is arithmetic operation? Like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and everything. So it will ensure that the arithmetic operation is performed and it will be added. Refresh. Now we got it. Yes or no? Yeah. Yep. How many records that we are getting displayed here? Like totally 16 records we can able to see it, isn't it? Okay. So like it is just giving all the records which includes A over? Yes, yes. It's a like operator that we use. If the name contains A, then it will display it. Okay. So now let's go back and we'll do re-update. So this is not looking nice for sure. So what we can do, what we can do, you can implement entire implementation here or you can also do the other way of around. You can also do other way of around. Let's say control shift P, SFDX create our component, display account. Don't get confused, there are names look similar. This is display accounts. The one I created right now is display account. There is a difference, right? What is the difference here? What is the difference? Account, isn't it? This is accounts, this is account. One S is difference. Aura attribute name equal to record type equal to object or you can also say simply account which is also fine then I want to display this as a card so you know we have a cards available cards lightning card I don't need a big card I, it's fine for me with a narrow card or a basic card. Let's go and pull it from here, lightning card. Go back, paste it. Footer. I don't need footer. Title, I'll say my account name. V dot record dot 
name and I don't need a button otherwise I'll say view contacts and card body what and all the details that we are getting phone and description let's say v dot record dot description v dot record dot so it's in record is your account account dot name account dot phone it's as like the way we use generally in apex code we can refer directly so then what we can do we can call this account display component from here we can call this account display component by simply c colon display account and you have to pass a record, right? This is your record. This is your record. And you can say, you simply pass your account record to this. Save. Deploy. Now what happened? As soon as iteration runs, this account display component will send information to record one by one so it will create a multi all accounts in the lightning card format let's go back refresh oil now you can able to see the information right it's coming like a total number of accounts yes sir no yes so now on click of this view contacts my expectation i should display the list of contacts in this place my expectation is that i wanted to display the list of contacts based on my selection based on my selection if i click this then the contact should be displayed if i click here then the contact should be displayed if i click here so the related contacts need to be displayed if there is no contact if there is no contact it should say message no contacts available any question till here uh, no see whenever you are doing a lightning development so it's a components try to use a component based type of development see as i said Without writing this component, without writing this component, I can able to do everything within here. Whatever outer iteration I have did, if I copy paste the same code here, if I copy paste the same code here, understand, I am commenting this. I am commenting this. There is no such restrictions that you should have a different one. You can simply say that account.name, account.phone, see this also gives you a same output this also gives you a same output but being a component model development it's very easy very easy to update or modify in later changes so now i removed the code see display accounts i removed it i moved all the lightning card here and you don't find even a single change here in the output it looks similar like might be this is because i'm using v dot that's the only reason you don't want to use v dot deploy sosak refresh so oil you find any difference from the previous output to this? Not really. 
right it's but yeah it's a big difference now all your accounts are coming from a same component right to understand yeah, on which button i click it is very hard to define to understand which button i click it need a complex logic to write but if it is a component model of development then each component will be a different uh, component so what happens you don't want to write a complex logic it's a simple button actions is more than enough now if i click view contacts i need to display contacts related to this account but in this case in this case the component is loading from a same place right if i define a action here that action will be remain same for all accounts yes or no yes and if user clicks this button so now i need to identify on which index he clicked it you understand there is a difference now i need to understand on which index he had clicked it and i have to read that index from the existing collection then i can process the information but if i use this as a different model let's say if i am not doing this if i am not doing this if i do this way then what happens every time if account is recorded so every time the display accounts is getting created right different display account i mean it's the same component but it is creating more than one time yes or no let's go back But okay so it was just displaying that united oils information like all results for united oils yep so now let's go click search now we can see display account right article display accounts and how many ways that it is created three articles it got created right three see the difference right display account canada ild is our namespace so let's not worry canada ild canada ild is our namespace and what is this one display account how many times it got created three times isn't it because how many accounts we have three accounts why it got created three times because we are loading our component we are loading our component inside our iterations so if i define a controller action here if i have a display account let's go back and define my controller view contacts alert displaying contacts for component dot get dot name v dot record now i'll say on click so c dot because we need to call our component so we can use c dot so with a simple statement i can able to read my account information through record variable and i can display it let's go back refresh now you can see oil search we got it so i want to display for united oil and gas corp so everywhere it is simple so anyway it is crop it is uk and everything we have difference click displaying contacts for oil and gas corp the same account i clicked it here you can see uk with a simple step you can able to capture a different actions for an account based on the record yes or no now it is possible right so there is no complications each component have their own set of information and you can operate and you can perform your actions from that component directly 
this is how whenever you write a lighting component development ensure that your models are always your lighting component development is always modularized modularized in the sense even if it is a small or big try to have a component by component instead of implementing the same interface i mean same entire business logic within the simple component in a single component see there is no i'm not saying that you can't do it you can do it but if you develop everything in a single component it will add a more complex to manipulate the information in going forward and that later time say if tomorrow if user comes back if they ask for a change then implementing that change within the component will be very hard if the component is a very multiple components has been used or developed for the same functionality then what happens this module is you can simply change the module function and you can implement it instead of reiterating for entire all the structure entire business logic or entire business requirement clear any questions like what i am what is the difference between like what will be the complications why you should we should not do uh, every component implementation is same component or why we need to do in a module wise module wise in the sense component by component every small action see display accounts is a one action in display accounts i i was thinking in the other way saying that oh display accounts is a collection fine in display accounts what i am displaying displaying account so let me create for displaying account itself is a new component so this way i am creating i modulize i mean in a way that you need to granular the requirement clear okay so whenever you write anything the basic agenda is that every small implementation should go with multiple component implementations when i say multiple component try to function by function like displaying accounts is a collection that i need to iterate okay that's one function in iteration i need to display one account so that account itself is a different function for me so i am writing it so this way you can segregate if tomorrow if you want to use the same account later you can pull pick it that and you can embed it in your new future so this way right the development will cost will go low and development will be so easy and maintainability now to the follow up question you know how to do a server call isn't it we know how to do a server call from the earlier class, earlier session and how the information is passing from this search to here bottom on which way we are passing the information how we are doing this uh, communication like oil if i search how you are passing this information to this component how we are passing that information through application event isn't it now the same way i am expecting you guys to create one more component here for displaying contacts on click of this view contacts do a what you need to do fire an event fire an event and load that contacts i mean as soon as you fire an event that event should communicate your account id that account id will based on that account id you need to do a server call get the related contacts and display in the right side of the comp screen clear any questions any questions here and you always have this account username and password so you can able to go through the lines and uh, yeah you can able to do 